and let's have a look at classroom analytics. I've got quite a few tabs here, so let's uh, go for this one. Close these other tabs. Cool. So, classroom ad analytics, as I said earlier, this is now rolling out to domains who have Education Plus. So, hopefully, you should see this in your admin console really very soon. Classroom analytics is available either to teachers, in which case they can see just the classrooms they teach, but you can also make it available using one of the admin roles on the admin console. And that enables you to give this role to senior leaders, or maybe heads of department, to allow them to see classrooms across the organization, or you can limit it to particular organizational units as well. And I'll go through how you can assign that in a minute. But first, let's take a look at classroom analytics. So you see it in the uh, Google Classroom view here, alongside visitor class. So if I click on here and open up analytics, it takes me to a new tab. And on this tab, I can see firstly how many students and classes I have the rights to see on my domain. I can see their assignment completion rates. I can see their average grade. And I can see how many active students I have on these classes. As, as you've noticed here, as we click through these uh, tabs, it automatically refreshes this graph, but it also refreshes which classes we can see down here sorted by uh, the activity. Also along here, I can filter this by date. So I could just see the activity from the last seven days, the last 30 days, 90 days since January or since August. So good to see Google aligning to different academic year cycles here. So let's see everything from the last 90 days. And by the way, it's filtering this uh, for assignments based on their due date. So if teachers aren't setting a due date, it may not be showing up here. So important to, to set that due date. And that's what the filter is applying to. Now, if we scroll down, it will show me the classes I can see. If I select one of these classes, so let's select, uh, let's go for Muggle Music in this one. This is the Hogwarts theme domain, by the way, if you didn't already guess. So in Muggle Music, we can see who's enrolled in that class. So I've got only four students enrolled. I can see the assignment completion rate for each of these students, how many precisely they've missed. I can see their average grade, and I can see how active these students are as well. Also from here, I can do things like visit that class. So if I've got the class visit uh, option turned on uh, for my user in the admin console, I can actually click here and then go and visit that class. If we just give it a moment, it will pop up with the reason why I'm visiting that class. So let's say I want to conduct an informal observation. When I do visit that class, the teacher gets a notification that I'm visiting and about the reason why. And that also gets added into the audit log as well. And then while you're visiting that class, you've got full rights uh, of that teacher to go and see classwork. You can go and see individual assignments. You can see who's a member of that class and the grades and so on. So I just realized I was sharing the wrong tab in. So uh, just to illustrate here, I got access to this class for two hours. And yeah, I can see all the classwork, people, and grades. OK, so let's jump back to analytics now. Also, uh, alongside the student names here, I have a button to view the assignments for that student. So for example, uh, let's look at George Weasley. He's handed in all of his assignments, so let's select view assignments for the student. It will then take me to the classroom view and just filter it by George Weasley's assignments. If I can, I can then select these and go and view his work, all from class visits. Okay, so let's back up a step now and go back to the homepage on Classroom Analytics. So if viewed the class view, I can also see classes uh, by students. 
So if I select students, it'll show me all the students I have rights to see. If I select one of these students, like Harry Potter, I can then see all of the classes Harry is a member of. Quite a few classes. He's got a, a quite a busy timetable here. Again, I can select these classes and go and view more, view more details about these. I can also filter by organisational units. So if I select org units, I can see the uh, OUs. I've got the ability, I've got the privilege to, to go and view. I can go and navigate down the org unit tree here. And for example, I could just select the middle school. This will then filter this view uh, to only show classes and students in the middle school OU. So very useful if you want to uh, get analytics about particular year groups uh, within your school. And if you've broken up your students by year groups, you'd be able to really easily uh, do that. Okay, so that's pretty much all of classroom an analytics. Before we finish up though, I just wanted to show you how you can assign that admin role to your users. So to do that, we need to go into the Google Admin Console. Let me just switch tabs. And once you get into the Admin Console, we need to go to Account and Admin Roles. And here is an Analytics role I made earlier. This role only has one privilege, and the privilege you need to select for Classroom Analytics is this one, if we scroll down. So under Classroom, you'll see a few different privileges you can select. And the one for enabling analytics is this one, view analytics data for users and their classes. You can also enable optionally the manage classes ability, and that turns on class visits uh, for those users as well. Uh, class settings, if you enabled that, enables you to configure class settings domain wide. So you probably don't want to give that one to any teachers or senior leaders at the school. That should be a reserve for admins really.